only the energy that counts. I am wishing you happiness, clarity, and freedom on this spectacular morning. And my message to you on this morning is to honor the challenges in your life. Honor the difficulties, the hardships, the road blocks. Honor the challenges that we go through in this life. When we look at our challenges as not just challenges, but ways that we can grow, we honor these things because they are what allows us to grow and expand and learn so much in this life. Honor your difficulties and your difficulties, your challenges, your setbacks will actually honor you. So there's the message for today. And that brings me into the topic of today's video, which is the planet Saturn. Now I haven't talked about Saturn in quite some time, guys. So today we're talking about Saturn. And if you don't know, okay, if you do not know, Saturn is actually probably my favorite planet. It's probably my favorite planet. I, in case you're wondering, I have Saturn in the sign of Gemini natally, which means that a lot of my challenges in life pertain to communicating thoughts, ideas, all these type of things. And it might be my karma because, you know, obviously something I'm doing is communicating on YouTube, right? So everything is perfect and everything is aligned. And specifically with the planet Saturn, what I want to talk about is the upcoming Saturn transit that quite literally is going to change the world. It is going to change everything. You heard it here first. Okay, this March, the world is going to shift. Things are going to change quite drastically and it's going to be a change that we have not seen in quite some time. In fact, it's been about five years of the planet Saturn being in one of its home signs. The home signs of the planet Saturn are Capricorn and Aquarius. And currently, Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius. And before that, it was in the sign of Capricorn. So, also, if you don't know, Saturn takes about two and a half years to go through each sign of the zodiac, and it takes about 30 years to go through the entire zodiac. Right, so Saturn went through Capricorn two and a half years, and now it's going through Aquarius for the it's been doing that for the past two years. So, you know, Capricorn and Aquarius are very serious signs. I'm an Aquarius, and I'm a very serious person. If you knew me, you'd know that I'm a very serious person. Oftentimes, I'm, I'm very serious, it's just who I am. And Capricorn and Aquarius, these are the serious, the critical the concrete signs of the zodiac, more so Capricorn with concrete, but these are the serious Saturnian restrictive signs of the zodiac, right? And Saturn has been going through these signs for the past five years, like I said. And in March of this year, 2023, Saturn is going to enter the sign of Pisces. And I wanna talk about the shift from the sign of Aquarius to the sign of Pisces because it is quite a drastic shift. So going from Aquarius, you know, Saturn and Aquarius, the past two years, obviously, this has been huge, very serious. The planet has been very, very serious, very, very heavy. There's been lots of restrictions. COVID-19, wear a mask, all these things. You can't go to this place unless you have received a jab, right? All these restrictions, all these things that we experienced in the year 2021, a lot, that was huge, and even 2022, you know, this is all Saturn and Aquarius, very serious, lots of heavy things going on, lots of restriction, lots of, you know, you can't do this, government control, lots of Saturnian control because the planet Saturn also represents government and control systems, right? So Saturn, being in the sign of Aquarius, now entering into the sign of Pisces, guys, this is going to change 
everything. This is going to change the world. This Saturn transit, this upcoming Saturn transit is going to change the world as we know it. And it might actually be the end of the world as we knew it. Who knows? Who actually knows? But as the, sign, as the planet Saturn enters the sign of Pisces, a few things that we are going to start to notice is that we are going to shift, again, from this serious Saturnian nature of Saturn being in its home sign of Aquarius. We're going to shift from this serious, cold, critical quality to more watery and intuitive energy. We're going to experience a massive shift, a massive influx of, you know, intuitive, creative, feminine energy. And Saturn is going to be in this sign. So we might also experience restrictions in this area, in the areas of, you know, intuition, spirituality, which is everything that the sign of Pisces represents, right? So we can expect a massive shift upcoming this March. This March, we can expect a massive shift in how can we prepare for this shift. You guys know I'm a very practical person. What can we do to prepare for this shift in energy that we are going to experience this March? Okay, every time Saturn enters a new sign, there is a massive shift. There is a massive shift in energy because Saturn is a very slow moving planet. Saturn does not like to move quickly. In fact, it is the, it is the planet of time. It represents time, Kronos, the Greek god of time. That is Saturn. So it is a very slow moving planet. And what can we do to prepare for this massive shift that happens every two and a half years and, you know, every two and a half years, like I said, it enters a new sign of the zodiac, so we experience the shift. So we are going from fixed air, Aquarius, to mutable water, Pisces. Mutable water. Mutable water is, like I said, intuitive, flowing, spirituality, creative, feminine energy, more of the internal realm, the inner world, rather than the outer world. Aquarius is more of a masculine sign. It is a masculine sign, so it's more outer. It's more things that we can see. It's more outer masculine energy. So in order to bring in this shift smoothly, let's be open to these energies. Be open to the intuitive energies that you may be feeling. Be open to the emotional energies that you might be feeling we might experience lots of challenges in the areas of, you know, spirituality and emotions and energy because it's the planet Saturn which represents difficulties, challenges, hardships, roadblocks that we go through in this life. All the hard things we go through, the challenges, that is what the planet Saturn represents. But the planet Saturn is not all bad because what do we what happens to the human being when we go through challenges and difficulties? We grow and expand and learn and move up and move higher and ascend in this life. That is what happens. So the planet Saturn is not all bad. Like a lot of people think, it is not all bad. I love the planet Saturn. I look at it often in the sky. I've been looking at it a lot. Saturn, Jupiter, Venus. So be open to these energies. Be open to the energies that are going to come in this March and in 2023 and in 2024, right? Be open to these energies, allow these in because when we start to resist, when we start to resist energy, you guys know what happens when we start to resist energy, not good things happen. When we experience resistance, we are going against the flow of nature. We are going against the flow of the universe. So the absolute best thing you can do in this life is to let go of the resistance. Let go of the resistance. When you let go of the resistance, there is nothing that can stop you. There is absolutely nothing that can bring you down when you let go of resistance. 
because we know in this life so many things come in we feel a different way every single day we have certain emotions we have certain energies people around us say things to us it's up to us how we process these things and how we react to these things it's up to us we are in control of our energy we aren't in control of what happens in the 3d realm but we are in control of what we view how we view what happens in the 3d realm so that's the biggest tip for this is to allow these energies in and let go of the resistance let go of the resistance it's not going to help you it is not going to help you in any way shape or form what is another tip for Saturn in Pisces that we're going to experience this upcoming March and for the rest of 2023 what is the next tip for Saturn in Pisces you see Saturn in Pisces is like I said creative energy so I want us to move towards creation move towards letting your creative side flow this is going to help bring in these energies bring in these Piscean energies of creativity and feminine energy and expression you see this isn't a very masculine thing you know creativity isn't the most masculine thing creativity comes from within it's a expression it's an expression of energy it's an internal feminine expression of energy so move closer to your creative side this March and beyond move closer to your creative side creative expression guys this is what I love about filming videos for you guys on YouTube I am able to creatively express myself I can express my thoughts express my mind and express my energy so if you guys want to start a YouTube channel I highly encourage you to go ahead and do so and you don't have to overthink it sometimes I overthink things but you don't have to overthink it I'm telling you you don't have to overthink it because it's going to work out just the way that it is meant to so my advice is just do it if you have a creative project or a creative idea or something you want to start you want to start writing you want to start a blog you want to start a book you want to start a podcast you want to start a cooking show okay whatever you want to start that is creative and that allows you to express yourself I'm here to tell you to go for it this 2023 go for it we have Saturn and Pisces creative intuitive energy it's a wonderful opportunity to let your creativity shine and this is amazing after coming out of two Saturn transits through their through its own home signs of Capricorn and Aquarius like I said these are very serious critical cold dark analytical signs very serious signs not very creative now Aquarius is actually more creative a little bit more creative with the ideas and the flowing ideas that Aquarius tends to have but these are very serious signs so moving into Saturn and Pisces it's a wonderful opportunity to shift into more feminine energy creativity let your creative energy shine this will allow you to go places in life guys starting this YouTube channel has helped me grow so much it has helped me shine so much and helped me move closer to my authentic self so much your authentic self is waiting it's inside of you it's the energy inside of you it's the expression inside of you and the world needs more creative expression so let it out give it to the world the world needs it at this time you know we've been going through these serious transits COVID-19 lockdown restrictions worrying about money and finances and the economy and all of these things it's been so crazy and so serious so it's time to let our creativity shine it's time to express ourselves it's time to let go it's time to live our best lives and not worry about the outcome Pisces is all about letting go don't worry about the outcome opposite to Virgo Virgo is very analytical Pisces is very let go I'm a Pisces rising but I'm a Virgo moon so I can have this 
kind of opposition in my life. But I encourage you all to just let it go. Just be yourself and just let yourself shine. Let your authenticity shine. So there we have it, guys. That is my message on Saturn in Pisces for March of 2023. I want to wish you all the best for this transit. It's going to be amazing for you. I guarantee it. It's going to be a ride. It's going to be a trip. It's going to be a massive shift in energy. So thank you all for being here. I want you to like this video right now. Beat the YouTube algorithm. My new mission, guys, if you don't know, is to absolutely own the YouTube algorithm. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss a video. I want you to comment down below whatever you want. Comment down below ways that you are preparing for this upcoming Saturn transit that is going to change the world. And I also believe, you know, if you're still here at this point in the video, you're a rock star. Thank you for being here. I also believe one kind of prediction I have is that, you know, as Saturn enters Pisces, the entire collective is going to shift into more creativity. It's going to shift into more letting our expression out and letting our creativity flow. It's going to be a massive shift and you're going to see it everywhere. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to pick up because like I said, Saturn is a slow, slow planet. It moves very slowly. It takes 30 years to go all the way around. But we are going to notice this shift from serious analytical energy bottled up inside to letting our expression shine and it's going to be amazing i'm so excited for it 2023 is going to be a fantastic year and it already has been so thank you all for being here check out my crystal shop freedom vibes crystals link in the description join the patreon for behind the scenes exclusive content link in the description and you can donate to me down below as well. Thank you all so much. I love you all and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.